What's up, my peoples? MGO here, the freaking geek himself, and welcome to another exciting episode of MGO Build Stuff, the series where I teach you how to make ravioli without the Oli. Just ravi. It's delicious. But anyway, moving along, we're going to continue with our builds of the Transformers NES ah, kits. And next up, as you can probably already tell, we are doing Windblade. So here is Windblade, robot mode, alt mode. Her name is Windblade, stuff, things, things, stuff, more stuff, more things. We know how this works. So yes, um, so like I said in the previous video, we're going to start with the alt mode first, because that just makes a lot less work for me. <laughs> so we're gonna do the jet mode. We're gonna put it together, and as you can see, I already have all the pieces laid out and organized per step here. So that way I don't have to look for anything, it's all right here where I need it. And this can go nice and smoothly, and we can build this jet. So let's get down to it! Cause ain't nothing to it, but to do it. So, step one. Let us begin, let's get a better angle here. As you can see, I have Windblade's head right there, just Silently staring at us and judging us. Because that's just the way it has to be now. That's right. That's the way we do things here. It's the way we do things. But we are going to build this here jet mode. Oh! So hopefully it should go pretty smoothly. Although it probably won't. I, I probably missed a step somewhere. Or forgot to get a piece out or something. It did happen, it's probably gonna happen, even though I was meticulous about sorting all this stuff out last night. But I'll probably still mess up in some way, shape, or form, because you know how these videos work. They work the same way they always work. So, you know. But hey, it is what it is. Anyway. So, a couple things I do want to address about these kits. Um, one thing, uh, is um, I, I did have a couple of people ask me if these are official kits or if these are like knockoff kits. Like, no, these are official. These are officially licensed, hence the uh, copyright 2019 Hasbro brick. Um, yes, these are officially licensed kits. These are legit. Um, these are based off of a TV series that is airing in China called Nesha. I know that's not how you pronounce that word. It's just, I just say it that way for my own amusement. But yes, um, it's a series that is airing in China and these kits are based off of the series. So yes, this is all, this is all legit. All legit stuff. Officially licensed. They went through all the legal, all the legal, all the legal mumbo jumbo. And yes. So yes, this, these are official kits. Um, and also another thing that people were, um, in, in the previous uh, video when I was building Prime's truck mode, um, I guess that goes there. Um, seems like it, seems like it, yeah. But when I was building Prime's truck mode and I was talking about how I had to take the thing apart to put it back together and take it back apart to put it back together again, um, a couple of people said, well, why don't you just buy two sets? Here's the thing. I bought these from Sir Toys. Sir Toys is in China. And in case you are not aware, we're in the middle of a pandemic and that has slowed everything down, especially international mail. So stuff from Sir Toys takes a good while to get here as it is, like a couple weeks. And with what's going on, now stuff takes, like, I, I think it took, like, maybe over a month for these things to, to get to me. So, no, I can't just buy another kit. It's not like it'll, <laughs> it's not like if I ordered another kit, it'll be here tomorrow. Like, no, it'll take, it would be me waiting, again, like, uh, over a month to get another set. And in that time, I could take these kits apart and put them back together, like, 50 times. And, at that, you know, at this point, it's not worth it. And also, you know, and in all honesty, like, I wasn't expecting to do the, uh, the alt mode build. I didn't think you guys wanted to see that, but apparently you did. So, I was like, okay, cool. I'll do the alt mode build. That's fine. But I wasn't expecting to, so that's another reason. I was like, okay, whatever. I'll just, I'm just gonna be putting this together once. But, hey, it's okay. It's all right. It's all good. It's a little extra work, but I don't mind. I do enjoy doing these things, though. I just don't want to keep <laughs> taking them apart and putting them back together time and time and time again. <laughs> That's what I didn't want to do. But, you know, doing an all-mode build and then a robot-mode build, I'm perfectly fine with that. 
And um, also, you know, I have no intention of displaying these in in the alt mode either. You know, some people, uh, I had a couple of people say, "Oh, you could you could buy a second set and you know display one in alt mode," and it's like, no, I don't care. <laughs> I don't care about the alt mode. You know, I'm just. I'm just trying to, uh, you know, I, I display everything in robot mode, so for me, you know, displaying it in alt mode is not a desire. Oh, I only needed, I only needed one of these, and I took out two. Oh, that's okay. All right. Well, I have a spare. <laughs> this is one case where I actually took out uh, an extra part. I took out more than I needed. Okay. Hey, yeah, that's fine. It's okay. I'd rather have too much than not enough. Okay. So we're moving along pretty well, I think. So all that goes together whoop, like that. Okay, so we're moving on here. This is moving along swimmingly. Swimmingly! And, oh no, we're doing this. Boom, and then boom. Shake, shake the room, that's right. See, this is nice, this is efficient. This is efficient. <laughs> this, is, this is efficiency at its best right here. Until I mess up, then it won't be so efficient anymore. But it's efficient so far. It's efficient so far. All right. We're going. We're going here, peoples. So this is all now connecting here. There we go. Now we got this dilly dally going on here. Okay. Uh, I see. Oops. Hey. 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 Hey, you stay together. You stay together. We're not doing any fatalities. No fatalities in this video. No fatalities, although it's probably still going to happen. But no, 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 no. So it's going there. And that is going here. Okay, it's bridging, bridging the gap. Bridging that gap. Come on. There we go. And then boom. So yeah, that's so okay. Let's 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 sh let's share a funny story here. <laughs> let's share a funny story here. So of course, as we all know, there's this you know there's this virus going around. Maybe you heard of it. Um, maybe you heard of it. I don't know. He's been living under a rock. At this point, I think most people are honestly just to kind of stay safe. But anyway. <laughs> But, um, so yeah, so not only is 2020 going to be known as the year of the coronavirus, but 2020 is also going to be, I'm sure, forever known, it's going to be forever known as the great toilet paper drought of 2020. Um, because, you know, like, people were just buying up toilet paper left and right, and to the point where you couldn't find any, like, I mean, I'm sure you've all seen the pictures online of just the toilet paper aisles. Oh, supermarkets just bare, just not a single, not not a single square, not a single square of toilet paper to be seen. And um, so I said, you know what? I mean, we we still had a couple rolls in the house, and we couldn't find any anywhere because no stores had any toilet paper. So I was like, you know what? Let, let let's cover our bases here, just in case we can't find any. I'm going to buy a bidet. So I went on Amazon and I bought a bidet. So obviously the shipping was a little slower because of everything that's going on. And, you know, Amazon's been like, you know, over, you know, overflowing basically with orders. Um, and God bless them for continuing to do their jobs, man. You know, they're putting themselves at risk for us. But, you know, God bless them. Um, but, um. You know, uh, so I, I, I finally got the bidet, and I went to the bathroom, and I installed it, and Lori, and Lori was there, she was helping me out, she was being my, you know, being my assistant, as I was installing the bidet. So, finally get it together, get everything hooked up, and it's, uh, and I was like, okay, let's give this a test run. I have never used a bidet in my entire life, never, 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 ever. So I was like, all right, we're gonna <laughs> let me give this a test run. Let's see how it works. And Lori was there too. Yeah, I mean, we've been together for over 20 years. So, you know, there's there's no secrets between us. We've, we've seen it all. So, <laughs> so Lori is there and I'm like, all right, let's give this a try. So, you know, I, I, I 
pull my pants down. I sit on the toilet and I'm like, all right, let's give this a whirl. So I know this is not what you want to hear me talk about, but this is what we're going to talk about. This is the, this is the video. This is, this is the topic of conversation today. <laughs> this is what you signed up for, believe it or not. But anyway, um, this goes here. Um, so yeah, I, I sit on the toilet. So the bidet I bought has, has f this many. One, two, three, four, five. Has five settings. Five settings on it from, you know, low to high. And um, so I crank it up to one and nothing happens. It's making noise, but nothing happens. And I was like, okay, so I crank it up to two and still nothing happens. It was making a little more noise, but nothing was happening. So then I was like, okay, well, let's, you know, I cranked it up to three and whoo, that's when, <laughs> that's when the water hit and I mean hit <laughs> and my God, that's a sensation. That is a, that, <laughs> if you've never used a bidet, whoo, that just, it comes out of nowhere and it's just, it is, it is a sensation. Definitely. That is just, it's a weird, it's a weird, wild, wacky sensation. And I just, because that water just hits you, and I just, like, I jumped up, and I'm like, whoa! And Lori starts cracking up. She's, like, on the floor laughing her butt off. Uh, and I'm just like, oh, my God! And uh, it was hilarious. And that was just on setting three. So I was like, okay, I'm going to keep going. <laughs> so I turned it up to four. And that was even more vigorous. <laughs> it was even more vigorous. And I was like, whoa! And Lori is still on the floor dying laughing. Um, so what am I doing here? Oh, you know what? I think I got... Oh, I got my pieces backwards here. See, I already messed something up. I put my pieces backwards. This one goes here. But yeah, um, so Lori is on the floor dying, laughing. And I'm like, oh, sitting on the toilet as this water is shooting right. That thing is accurate, by the way. I don't know who designed that thing, but that thing is accurate. That thing hits you. It's it's right, right in the hole. It is pinpoint accuracy. That thing is no joke. So, anyway, <laughs> so, um, that was on level four. So I was like, okay, let's crank it up to five. And oh dear God, level five. Okay, if you want to know what it's like to have the bidet I bought, going at at full level at level five here's what you do if you want to experience this go to your backyard get your garden hose put it right up to your butthole and just turn it on full blast that's what it felt like it was it was a bit too much it was i felt a little violated i honestly i felt clean and dirty at the same time it was just you know i um but <laughs> my lord but yes that was the experience that was my first experience with the bidet and of course i told lori i was like now you have to try this thing out because i'm not i'm not gonna be the only guinea pig here so you know lori dropped trow and she tried it out and she did the same thing she was like oh <laughs> And of course, then I was on the floor laughing because it was hilarious the way she was reacting to it. So yeah, that's that's that was our experience with the bidet. I know you weren't expecting this kind of conversation, but you know what? That's what we're... Hey, stop it. I know this is not the conversation you were expecting in this video, but then again, you never know what to expect from me because that's what this channel is all about. It's just about... This channel always uh, just exists purely on soul randomness. And uh, this is no different, ladies and gentlemen. This is no different, peoples. We're building something and talking about bidets and water just shooting right up your butthole. And whoa, man, that's 
That's an experience. That's what they call an experience right there. Although I will say, I think that would come in, I, I think the bidet comes in the most handy when you take kind of a, uh, kind of a runny poop, you know, when it kind of one of those sloppy poops, you know, one of those poops you have to, yes, again, this is what we're talking about. So, <laughs> you know, one of those sloppy poops where you have to wipe your butt like 50 times afterwards, like that actually came in really handy because I did take one of those poops later and I was like, hmm, I'm going to use the bidet and that worked like, that was, worked like a charm. I was like, yay, I don't have to wipe my butt 75 times. Awesome. Awesome. So it definitely comes in handy for those runny poos. You know those runny poos, you know, they just kind of like ooze out of you. You know, it's like, oh, you know, that was just all kinds of dirty. You know? <laughs> uh, again, yes, this is the conversation we're having. This is what we're doing. This is what we're doing as we put together Windblade. <laughs> oh, man. So how was your day? <laughs> how are you? Doing well, I hope. I hope everyone's doing well, staying safe. If somebody actually does go to their backyard and put their garden hose up their button, turn on full blast, please let me know. Let me know. I just, just, just for my own amusement, I just want to know if you actually do it. <laughs> and tell me what it felt like and I'll say yes. That's exactly what I felt. When I turn that thing up to five, that thing is no joke. No joke. That thing is powerful. I was like, oh my god. Like if the... If the sink ever breaks down, we can wash our dishes in that thing. That's how powerful that thing is. That thing will get out even the toughest stains. Anyway. <laughs> But anyway, all right, what are we doing here <laughs> besides talking about just the most utter nonsense? So this just goes here like that, I guess. I hope that's going in the right place. All right, so anyway, we're putting together Windblade. <laughs> For those of you who are just joining us, <laughs> we're putting together Windblade and talking about bidets. Talking about my first experience with a bidet. And it was a weird, it was a weird day. It was not a good day, it was a weird day. Oh wait, I was about to put that in the wrong spot. Oh no, 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 I'm right, I'm right, okay. Oh, man. <laughs> oh. See, it's just weird little life experiences like that. That just, <laughs> just make a life worth living. <laughs> oh. It's funny here. Let's stop talking about bidets and bowel movements here. So, but we're moving along. We're moving along at a nice pace. So I am happy. Um, okay, so we are here. Boom, and three, and right there, okay. <laughs> oh my God. So anyway, how are you guys doing? <laughs> Hope you guys are staying safe, being well. Uh, I'm just trying to maintain what little sanity I have left, which isn't much, honestly. But hey, you know, it is what it is. Okay, we're building wings here. We're building some wings. So we're moving along pretty well. We're already about halfway through this build. So I think we are going well. That goes here, right? Yes. Doesn't seem very stable, but well, oops. This little bit came off. Oh. Okay. Okay, we're moving along. We're moving along, peoples. We're moving along. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh my god. Well, I talk about water shooting up my butt just made my throat dry. I don't know why. That's a weird thing. That's a very weird, odd thing. I don't know. Don't, don't ask me to explain it. Don't ask me to explain nothing. I have no idea. I don't know what's going on anymore. Okay. It's just, you know. It is what it is, man. It just is what it is. Okay. 
This is coming together nicely. Oh, we got nice little, nice wingspan going on there. We got us a pretty nice wingspan going on. Okay, okay. I see you. I see you, Windblade. Windoblado. Okay, so all this is, okay, so this is how we're bridging this and making this more stable. Uh, okay, so now we are doing, uh, okay, all right. So these are going on either side like that, like that, giving the wings a little extra thickness and stability. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. There he is. Okay, we're doing well. We're doing well. I'm actually happy at how uh, how smoothly this is going. I've only I, I only messed up once. <laughs> I only messed up once and put something in the wrong spot. I am proud of myself right now. I am very proud of myself. You have no idea. I've only messed up one step. And that's when I put those two pieces in the wrong spot. But that was it. So far, boom. We're moving along. We're moving swiftly, as swift things tend to swift. I just spit, you see that? I just spit. I spit on Windblade. I'm sorry, girl. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to spit on you. And, oops, although your, your butthole, see, it's, it's talking about buttholes, her butthole is just not cooperating. That's, <laughs> that happened to you? I just, listen, 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 people, listen. Listen, Linda, listen, listen. Anyway. Hey, woo. Okay, that, okay, so we need to uh, be careful with this piece because there's nothing under this piece to actually hold it in place. And it's, okay, hold up. Let me do this. And her, and her, and her, her butthole came off again. <laughs> we'll do this. There we go. Put these pieces on now. And then just pop this on. There we go. Get, keep, keep your butthole. Keep your butthole in place there. Wing the blade. <sighs> Alright, so we're moving on. We're moving on up to the east side. The east side of Windblade. It's more the north side, really, but I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. I never know what I'm saying. I just spent I don't know how long talking about bidets and buttholes. Okay, listen. 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 This is just what happens in these videos, okay? It's called randomness. Randomness happens. It happens in these build videos. It happens in my reviews also. I mean, you know, the reviews... My reviews are totally random. Like, I don't script anything. I mean, I have, like, my typical stuff that I say, you know, intros and outros and whatnot. You know, I have my little buzzwords, my catchphrases, but nothing is actually scripted. It's not like I sit here, like, writing out every word that I say. I just turn on the camera, and I just, I just go. I just, I just go. That's my method. Just turn on the camera and go. Let it be organic. Let it be natural. Let it be fun. That's what I, that's, you know, I like, uh... I, I like the, the, the videos to feel, you know, natural and kind of conversational, you know, I don't want to, I don't, I don't want to feel like you're watching, uh, you know, a sales pitch or something, you know, I'm not trying to sell you a used car. I was like, hey, let's just sit here and talk about this toy, you know, hey, why not? Let's just chit chat and have some fun while we're doing it. You know, that's the way I like to do my videos. I don't like things to be too, you know. too controlled <laughs> it's it's controlled but it's like it's controlled chaos basically that's what my reviews are they're controlled chaos and that's just the way i like it just the way i like it like i, I don't even know what's gonna happen half the time when i hit record <laughs> on this camera you know and that's the way i like it and you know i hope you like it too i hope anyway some people apparently do I guess, for reasons. Okay, so what are we doing here? We are... There's a specific one that's going to go in a specific place? Okay. So we're just padding out the wings right now. Getting some more stability. Some more rigidity. Um, <clears throat> And the skits, too. The funny thing is, like, the skits, I've had people ask me, like, how do you come up with this? How do you come up with the skits? Like, literally, 
the skits are come up with like pretty much on the spot. Like once I'm done, here's the way I do things. I shoot the review first and then I, I just, after I'm done shooting the review, I'll just get up and I'll start pacing back and forth down here in the basement. I'll just start pacing back and forth. And right there on the spot, I just come up with the skit. And then I, after I've finally come up with it, I sit down and I shoot it, you know? So it's, you know, it's all just come up with on the spot. You know, again, it's not, there's, there's nothing that I really like meticulously plan out ahead of time. It's usually all just kind of spontaneous and just kind of, you know, riffed and ad-libbed and, and improvised, you know? It's just, again, it's just the way I like to do things. Um... I mean, obviously, like, the movies, like, you know, like, Dude, Where's My Couch and Dinoja, like, obviously for those things, like, I wrote a script, because, I, you know, you can't improv a whole movie, but, <laughs> you know, <laughs> I mean, you probably could, but that would, that probably would take a lot more talent than I will ever have, but as far as, like, the movies, yes, the movies get totally scripted out, like, I sit there and I write a script from beginning to end, but, um, but for, like, the skits, nah, it's just, I just come up with it right there on the spot, right after I'm done shooting the video, I'm not shooting the review. And then the last thing that gets shot is actually the intro. The mascot intro is the last thing that gets shot. The mascot has to wait till the end. To the end of the day to do his part. <laughs> it's okay. He gets paid either way. He don't care. He gets paid either way. Am I doing this right? Oh. Where am I? What am I doing? Where's my soup? Uh, okay. No, I was right. Okay. I'm just, I was like, I confused myself for a second. I was, I was, I was in the right spot there. I just confused myself for a second. Okay. I confused myself. This is coming along. Look at that. Look at that. We're building a thing. We're building a thing, peoples. We are building a thing. A thing made of stuff. <laughs> and talk about bidets and buttholes and doll movements and all that. So oh, this is, this has been a glorious a glorious build, a glorious day. A glorious day for all. I'm sure you can agree. I'm sure you can agree. Go to your home. Go to your home. Are you too good for your home? Alrighty. Yee. Alright. We're moving along pretty swiftly. What are we doing here? We're at 27 minutes. We're making good time. We're already almost down to the end here. Alright. I am happy. I am happy at how well this is going. All right. So this is going bloosh and bloosh. And what is this? How did this get on my finger? What is that? I don't even know what that is. What is that? And get some little wonder. A wonder. That's what I call them. A wonder. <laughs> I'm sure there are people who are going to get mad at me because I don't call bricks by their proper names or something. If they have proper names, I don't know. I just call that a wonder. It's a wonder. That's not the proper name. I'm sorry. And know that I don't care. <laughs> also. <laughs> like this piece. Does this piece actually have a name? I'm going to take this back out. Does this piece have a name? This, that, that's I'm actually curious. Does it have an official designation? I'm assuming all these pieces probably do. But they just have a number. I think a lot of Lego pieces just have numbers. They're just like numbered parts. I don't know if they actually have like names, like, you know, Gary and Steve and Michael. Like, oh, this is... Here we go. Here's John and, and, and John and Wayne right here. Pilgrim, you know. I don't know, man. I don't know, man. I don't know. Oh, man. Can I tell you something? My back is starting to hurt. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. My back is actually starting to hurt a little bit. Because I'm having to, like, lean over this table to do this. And it's starting to make my back hurt. Did I put something in the wrong place? I may have. I may have. Could I have a gap here? I don't think I should have. Did I miss something? I think I missed something. I didn't miss something. You missed something. You know what? We're going to roll with it. I don't care. <laughs> I think I did miss a piece. 
I think there was something that was supposed to go there. You know what? We're going to roll. You know what? I genuinely don't care. We're going to roll with it. We're going to just keep going. We're going to keep going. She's going to have a little, little, little gap there in her way. That's okay. You know what? I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. Maybe I do. What did I miss? I don't know what I miss. <sighs> That's gonna irk my soul. It's gonna irk my soul forever now. It's gonna irk my soul now. Nice. You know what? I don't care. I don't care. <laughs> no, you know what? I don't care. I don't care. It's fine. It's fine. We're gonna keep going. We're gonna keep going. I think I did mess something up, but you know what? It's all good. We're gonna keep going. We're gonna stay the course. Thousand points of light. Stay the course. I don't know. Okay. So what are we doing? Um, where am I? I lost my spot. Okay. We are. Okay. We're here. Okay. You know what? We're gonna keep going. We're gonna keep going. I don't care. <laughs> we did mess something up, but you know what? I'm not gonna let it break up my flow anymore. That already has. We're gonna keep going. It's okay. It's just a minor little minor setback somewhere, but you know what? It's all good. Hopefully it won't be detrimental to the rest of the build, even though it probably will, and then I will cry because I messed everything up, but you know what? It's okay. It's okay. Because that's life, people. That's life. It's all right. Those go there. That goes here. Yeah, I think something else was supposed to go there, and I messed it up. Oh, well! <laughs> It's okay. It's all right. You know why? Because this is still going smoothly and efficiently, even though I obviously messed up a bit there on the wings. But you know what? It's all good. You keep your butthole in place, Windblade. Don't you hate problematic buttholes? I hate problematic buttholes. That's a lot of people in the comment section. Anyway, but <laughs> uh, <clears throat> so let's just. Oh wait, that's there. Go, go to your home. Go to your home. Go to your home. There you go. Thank you. Thank you. And that goes. Well, that's a weird way to connect. There we go. It hurt, hurt. You know what? We're just gonna leave this off for now because that is just annoying me now. That is just annoying me. Her butthole is annoying me. And I don't want to be annoyed anymore by her butthole. Okay? Okay. We're done. We're done. We're done here. <laughs> so, this is just kind of a weird way to connect things. Like the one you put this together first and then just kind of like wiggle things underneath and you can't do that. There you go. Okay, let's put your butthole off to the side. Okay, we're at the home stretch here though. We're pretty much at the uh, at the end point here. That goes there. Boom. And then uh, if you like to actually see what I'm doing here. Boom. And boom, and boom. Oh. oh, I did mess something up. That's a light gray. That's a light gray, it's supposed to be a dark gray. Oops, you know what, let me switch this out real quick. Okay, that was supposed to be a dark gray one. I had a light gray. That was my bad. Okay. Okay. So good. So good. 
Okay. So, now, what are we doing? What are we doing? And, oh, this is another case where I actually got an extra piece. I only needed one of these, and I got two. Okay, fine. That's fine. That's okay. It's all good. It's all good. So, boom. Boom. And boom. And boom. Okay. Let's put our butthole off to the side. We don't need that right now. And what else are we doing here? What else are we doing? All right. That goes there. Okay. Okay. And that looks like it's sitting here. Yes. Yes. Boom. And then... And... What are we doing here? I feel like something's wrong here. Did I? Uh, I think this is supposed to go one back. There we go. Put that in the wrong spot. There we go. Okay. 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 That was a mistake. Okay. There we go. See, so, you know, again, there's always... <laughs> I'm always going to make a little mistake here and there. Yeah, whatever. It is what it is, but for the most part. For the most part, anyway. This has gone well. This has gone smoothly. Very little any... Very, very little hiccups. Very little hiccups. But it's all good. It's all good. Because we're getting it done. We're getting it done the way things should be. Boom. Okay. We're getting there. Next, we are doing more with the back here. Getting things a little bit more stable. It's more stable. It's more establish. Okay. There. There. And boom. And boom. <laughs> Woo! Can you feel it? Can you feel it, peoples? Can you feel it? Ah! Can you feel it as I drop pieces? Can you feel it? And you feel it. Oh man, what's going on here? So that goes. Uh, all right. Ah. You know what? All hiccups aside, I am still pleased. I am pleased with how smoothly this is going. It's probably been the smoothest build I've done so far. Oh, that doesn't go there. And then I make, immediately make a mistake when I say that. <laughs> Smoothest build, and then pfft, this, <laughs> and then mistake. Okay. It's all right. That was easily fixed. That was easily rectified. It's all right. I saw it. I caught it. I assessed it. And it's all good. And now, where are we? We are right at the home stretch, I think. Yes. So let's keep this train a rolling, or keep this jet a jetting. I don't know. I don't know. But we're moving along. We're moving along at what I feel is a nice pace. I don't know about you. I don't know about you, but I am happy. I'm happy, and I know it. But I can't clap my hands right now because I'm busy. I'm busy. I can't. I can't do that right now. I don't have time for that. I don't have time for any of that. Okay. So now we are here, we're on the last row of parts. We're on the last row. We're at the home stretch. Woo, put this over here. Okay, so where do you go? You go here. And you two go here. Boom, boom. And you go here. Okay. <laughs> so now we have this. What is this? This is an odd little setup here. Okay. Okay, that's weird. 
That's some weird, wild, wacky stuff right there. See that? Okay. That's okay. We'll get a little, a little close up later. We'll put her on the turntable. All right. So, next up. Oh, the big old tail fin. The big old tail fin goes right there. Boom. These go on the wingtips. Ah, that's ah, that's nifty. That is nifty. That's a nifty thing right there. A little telephone shape. Is that the that's the phone piece? Apparently, I don't know. Is that what that piece is called? The phone piece? Because it looks like a phone, like an old phone. I don't know. I don't know. You tell me. I'm not an expert. I'm not a building block expert. <laughs> if that's not if that hasn't been made blatantly obvious by now. So that goes there, right? Boom. Why is this piece not want to sit where it's supposed to sit? There we go. Nope. Did I put, oh, sorry. Oh, because I'm putting it in the wrong spot. That's why. Okay. There we go. Another little hiccup. It's okay. Boom. Okay. I was wondering why that was like fighting me going into place because I was putting it in the wrong place. That's why. There's your problem. You're putting it in the wrong spot there, dum-dum. It's okay. Again. I try to get through as quickly as possible, so, you know, that's the way it is. When you rush, you make mistakes. It is just the reality of things. When you rush, you make mistakes. But, you know, hey, where are we now? We're at, we're at, uh, we're, 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 we're making time here. We're making time. <laughs> this build has actually been, uh, this build is, has definitely been, uh, a lot longer than, um, then Prime's truck mode. Prime's truck mode was only, I think, like 40-something steps. Windblades is 69 steps, so quite a few more steps here for this piece than, uh, than Prime's. Now, do these go up, or do these go... I think they go like this. That's the way it looks anyway. Yeah, like they take the, uh, use the higher, the higher ports. Bring me a higher port! Okay, and this is the last step right here. We're plugging fans into these things. Little spinny, spinny fans. They actually work. <laughs> it's hard to, hard to do that from behind the camera. Hey, that goes there. This goes here. Boom. Ah. Line that up. Boom, ah, put her butthole back on, yay, and that's it, we're done, we're done with the jet mode, there it is, there's jet mode, hooray, hooray, hooray for jet modes, there's Windblade, there's Windblade jet mode, her butthole does not want to stay on, that's just all there is to it, I know it's a thruster, I'm going to call it a butthole, just because, where can we put this, there we go, just for funsies, there we go, I don't know, <laughs> Oh wait, there we go. Put it right here. Perfect. Boom. There you go. So. There's Windblade. Just for a quick comparison, here it is with the Warrior Class Cyberverse Windblade. As you can see how that works out. There you have it. There it is. So there you have Windblade, there you have the Jets mode, and um, yeah, I messed something up with the wings there, but oh well, it is what it is, you get the gist of it though, but still looks pretty cool, nonetheless, so yeah, hope you enjoyed this exciting episode of MGO Builds Stuff, and again, I got these kits from Sir Toys, I'll put a link to their site in the description down below, so you can check that out, and you know the drill, BBTS, Twitter, all that good stuff, down in the description below, there we go, another episode of them go build stuff in the can, so in tomorrow's video, we will put together the robot mode, so stay tuned for that, so, there we go, we're done, so, as always, this is MGO saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old, you grow old because you stop playing, big geek, be proud, Home in your face.